Hi, it's Robert here. Um, starting on this next project. Uh, it's a Steinway L. And uh, what you're looking at here, I just figured before I set this piano up, uh, kind of a little bit of an intro, but uh, just for folks that have not seen the modern day players, player pianos, um, I'm getting ready to uh, get this set up, obviously. And um, just wanted to show you guys stuff, some of the equipment that comes in the modern day players. Obviously, you have the speakers here. <coughs> and uh, this one has two speakers. Some have one. Uh, this customer obviously uh, opted for two speakers. Uh, you've got the power supply here. Kind of uh, uh, for lack of a better term, power supply. This is where, uh, you know, kind of like a, it distributes the power to the different um, components. Speakers, you've got some solenoids here. Uh, this, that's one for the pedal. And uh, you've got this big box here. And you see the back of it here. There's some places to plug in. It's a piano disc. <coughs> Plug in some components, different thing. You got MIDI. Um, so this one has the capability of using a MIDI file and um, a lot of other stuff you can hook into it. Um, <coughs> also uh, has a control to use the sustain pedal. Um, but in this box is a bunch of solenoids that. Um, actually push up the keys and when I get it set up and taken apart I kinda after I pull action out I'll show you those pieces as well on the other side that the pieces that actually push the keys up but I just wanted to show you that because I'm sure a lot of folks have not seen um, these modern players there you know it's a digital player is basically what it is and uh, it works totally different than the air power players from the uh, 1900s to about 1930, they were most popular. Uh, some of the smaller spinets used them up into the 50s and 60s. But uh, in any case, um, more of an intro or less uh, on this piano. Like I said, Steinway L, late model piano, has some issues. Um, like I said, I haven't set it up yet, but if I can pull some of these blankets back here. Um, some strange stuff going on with the finish. Uh, I don't know how easy that is to see there. It's got some premature wrinkling. I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but in any case, a uh, customer wants me to make it look new again. So it, it'll be refinished, satin ebony. <clears throat> and it doesn't have it in this area. You see the striations in the finish. I'm going to rub that again with the uh, to get the the famous Steinway satin rub. So, in any case, I uh, just wanted to show you that real quick. I'm going to set this piano up, and uh, I'll I'll begin some more uh, videos of this um, as I go along. And if you have any comments or anything, or any questions, or or any thoughts concerning the digital players, I'd love to see them. Uh, I've installed. Uh, mostly the players by uh, Story and Clark, their company, uh, Pianomation, QRS. But uh, I'd say those guys, uh, Piano Disc and uh, um, Piano Force, are probably the, the ma three major uh, aftermarket companies. And I think Steinway now. Um, they do their stuff in the house. They have a line of audio products, so uh, but you can look that up. In any case, uh, any comments, just post them right below the screen there. And uh, I I try to get back uh, to folks in a a few days, if possible, on the YouTube comments. Uh, I can respond a little bit quicker on um, Twitter. So Twitter.com at Beavers Piano if you have a Twitter account. So uh, thanks for watching, and we will talk to you again. Thanks.